Welcome back all, Laura here. So we just finished up with our uh, impeccable timing, timing shrine there. And I warped away since I had four more spirit orbs. Went back to the Temple of Time here at the Great Plateau. Uh, talked to that big tall goddess statue. Uh, and got myself another stamina vessel. So you should now have a wheel and three fifths of stamina. All right, folks. So this next part of my rainforest walkthrough we're going to be heading down to this little area and you should see like a little, I don't know, a little niche in the uh, sidewall of the cliff there. That's actually going to be a cave entrance. That's where we're heading. But there's also some goodies in this area as well as in this little spot of the water here. So simply take a quick flight down just past the waterfall. We're going to make landfall, and I'll just make sure I'm not missing any treasure. What is that down there? I think that's a shield or a mushroom. Either way, I don't need it. Alright, so assuming you got your uh, disguise suit on here, you're going to have these knuckleheads popping up if it's nighttime. I always try to save wear and tear on my weapons whenever possible. Of course, if you take too long doing that, the head will find another body. Always take the opportunity to tech refresh your inventory. All right, as I met, as I mentioned, there's some other stuff right down here. Um, I'm still not having any luck with those bright yellow beetles. That's really unfortunate. I was really hoping to be able to show you guys that. Oh, well, moving on. Okay, so there's that false wall. I want to say that's another treasure chest with a 50 rupees in there. Okay, next on our hit list here is going to be this little area with water. Now, do be careful because this is rather fast-moving water in this little spot. And we're going to be heading over here, and it's a tall pillar thing that we're going to have to climb to start a yellow flower. Don't forget your bananas. There's also some treasure along the way. Now there is a treasure chest on top of the rock thing out there. You can't really see it on my screen, but it's out there. I don't recommend getting that one just because it's uh, it's going to be a soldier's broadsword at this point in our games. And we're going to want that to be a royal broadsword later on in the game. So for now, I'm just going to get the one that's underwater here. Okay, so there's that other stone pillar that we're going to have to climb. Uh, you might have some water octoroks in the area, so do be aware of that. And another treasure chest right there. You can never have enough fi uh, ice arrows. That'll be rough estimation there. All right, so here's our stone pillar. Climbing is so much easier with the extra stamina. You can save a lot of time and just jump. All right, so as always, we're just gonna follow the yellow flower and I'll stamp that as to where it begins. Because this one we'll be traveling a little bit of a distance for.
All right. And there you have it. All right, next on the hit list, we're going to be warping back to our... Uh, let's see here. How do I want to do this? I think we're going to warp back to our tower here. One of my major complaints about this game is how long it takes for every screen to load up. It feels like a minute of my life is wasted every time this happens that I'll never get back. Alright, we're going to head back toward our hardy durian ledge here. This is where that extra stamina really starts to pay off. More time in the year with your bow and arrow. You can't beat it. Alright, so... I am going to see if my Big Hardy Radish respawned. It looks like it's still a little too early for that. Okay, so I'm ultimately going to be heading toward... We already got that one. I'm ultimately going to be heading toward this lake. There will be another dancing idiot there. Uh, so we're going to make another quick little climb here. Now remember I said earlier on that you can use the roots to stand on and recharge your stamina. So I recommend doing that just to kind of save yourself from having to eat a bunch of it. Simply climb just above them and let go, and Link should... S oh no! Okay, so that one's too steep to stand on, unfortunately. I'll try the one next to it. And just to kind of speed up my walkthrough, I'm going to do what I don't recommend, and I'm going to eat the stamina just to speed up my climbs here. I'm going to try standing on this one here. I think that one might be still a little bit too steep. I guess we're about to find out. Nope. Doesn't work. Oh well. It was worth a shot. Made it. Okay, there is a Hinox here. We are going to kill it. Uh, reason being is we're going to get knight level weaponry. We're going to get a knight's... I want to say a knight's broadsword, a knight's claymore, and a knight's bow, which is a pretty good bow, pretty good attack power. But uh, we're not going to kill him just yet. We're going to come back to that. Right now I'm just worried about treasure hunting. We're going to finish pilfering the lake area. Okay, so there's our dancing idiot out there with uh, another electric-based weapon. So at this spot in the lake, notice the boulder isn't metal this time. This one's going to be a little trickier than what we're used to. What we're going to have to do is use an ice block to kind of lift the boulder up. And then we'll use a balloon to pick the boulder up and get it out of our way. And then what you can do if it's not going away with the wind is use stasis, hit it once with a weapon, and it'll really shoot it out of the way. And I'll demonstrate that here. Just It only takes one swap, folks. Don't waste wear and tear on your weapon if you don't have to. Ah, what are you doing, Link? There's a sunken treasure chest here. 
this is where the dancing idiot's gonna get in our way, so we will have to deal with him, unfortunately. Now, I don't think the Ganon armor camouflages you from him. I guess we can find out here. Nope, doesn't look like it. So one ice arrow will freeze, the second ice arrow will break him slash do extra damage. Uh, whenever they're frozen and you hit them with any kind of weapon, it does extra damage. So that's good to know, just for a later reference, of course. Okay, so here's our next treasure chest out here in the water. Now there is a Karak seed over here. Uh, it's a little tricky. Assuming it's not raining in your games, I don't recommend attempting this one otherwise. But there's a ledge with a puzzle block configuration. And the block is actually on the other side of the waterfall. This is why I say don't attempt this if it's raining in your games, because uh, you kind of have to need to, uh, to get back up top side here. I normally don't use a weapon to kill Chews, I just use bombs, but I'm going to get another one of those uh, giant boomerangs out here anyway. So I'll be tech refreshing that. I figured I might as well use it while I have it. All right, folks, here's another one of those little four block thingies. Uh, same type of plan here. Ice block that bad boy up. Balloon to get it out of the way. Actually, scratch that. If you're out of balloons, which you may very well be, uh, simply prop it up with an ice block. And uh, we're going to stand next to the boulder once we do that. And you probably already guessed it. Stasis. One swat, unfreeze, boulders out of the way. And this one is worth 400 rupees. You get a silver rupee for 100 and a gold rupee for 300. Gotta love it. Alright folks, we're going to head back over to our shoreline here. And next on our hit list is going to be the top of this uh, lake up here, and there's more of those four block configuration type things. Uh, there will be another Karak seed up there. I don't recommend moving this stasis plate. There's nothing under it. So we're going to ignore that. Kind of mean that they put that there. And like I said, just to kind of speed up my walk through here, I'm going to... Just consume the stamina, get myself up quicker. I doubt the big hearty radishes will be respawned by now, but it's always worth it to take a quick peek if you're going to be in the area. Okay, so now up here we're going to have three of those four block configuration things, but only two are going to have boulders. Uh, this one right here in front of us is going to have a ball and chain type Karak seed. I don't know if you can see that on my screen or not, but it's there. And we're going to have some uh, sunken treasure out here. Not a bad deal, yo-yo. Trying to mark these as accurately as possible for you.
There should be one more treasure chest next to the shoreline here. Alright, this one's a little tricky. Uh, you don't have a whole lot of surface to grab onto. So you have to really walk to the edge of that thing so you can pick that ball and chain thingy up. Simply plop it in the middle there and your Karak will appear. Okay, and there's some more treasure out here. Three to be exact. And I'm just gonna mark it with one chest That'll show you guys, like, where they are. Because once you see one, you see them all. I think we'll get another long-distance bow up here. So I will take the opportunity to tech refresh that. Lots of arrows out here, lots of rupees, lots of gemstones. All in all, pilfering the Lake Floria area is worth every minute. Alright, so I believe this one's going to be a metal boulder. Yes, it is. And you may have some water octoroks in the area, so do be aware of that. the soldier's spear it's not a very good spear first of all and second of all uh just leave it there later on in the game that will become a royal spear or a royal halberd oh yeah if you have uh, materials that are out in the water and you're worried about going over a waterfall or something you can actually pick them up with the ice block and swim over there and just pick them up when you climb the thing. That is if they don't fall off before you get up there. Sometimes the wind will blow them off. Unfortunate. Okay, so this one is not going to be metal. So, ice block. And balloon, if you have it, is really the best way to go. Come on, Link. Squirrely. More ice arrows. Can never have enough. Alright, folks. That's pretty much it for this little spot. Oh, I forgot to put a treasure chest there earlier. Uh, we got that earlier on. All right, so when we come back, we are going to head to the bigger area of the lake. Uh, to get there, we're going to go ahead and meet back up at the uh, Halt the Tilt Shrine, Lakeside Stable Shrine, whatever you want to call that. Uh, let me make sure I don't have anything else to do while we're here. All right, folks, we'll come back.